Everybody's a suspect. Coming to get you, Barbara. Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the channel. I want to maybe talk about a controversial thing today, Cody Cunningham. I know that a lot of people are split with Cody Cunningham being the main character in Halloween Ends and also being the killer or the majority of the killer in Halloween Ends. So it's a bit of a controversial one because the question today is, did Cody Cunningham survive? And I know that a lot of people saying, well, Cody Cunningham died because Michael Myers killed him. Michael Myers also killed... Um, Sandra and Halloween Kills but she ended up coming back anyway so there's a lot of people that die in all the timelines in Halloween and eventually come back. Dr Loomis died, Michael Myers died a couple of times as well so people do die in timelines and come back in the same timeline with crazy reasons for them coming back. Now we didn't see Cody's body at the end of Halloween Ends and more than likely he's probably dead and the timeline's probably dead but let's have a bit of fun guys let's assume that this timeline is going to continue and let's assume that Cody Cunningham survived because Cody was built up to be the next Michael Myers he was built up to be the next shape I should say so I think it would have been a waste if they killed Cody off now Cody in this timeline stabbed himself in the neck with a really big knife and if anyone done that in real life, they would die instantly. But Cody didn't die. Call it supernatural powers, call it whatever you want. But a real person, a real human being would have died on the spot. But he didn't die. He actually had the strength to wake up and grab Michael's arm and even fight against Michael with choking him. So the fact that someone can do that in this timeline, in a movie, not in real life, then it shows us that maybe he's a bit of... He's more than a man, just like Michael Myers was back in 1978. There's a mystery and a mystique to Cody's character, even though we had the build-up of his character and he spoke all the way through the movie. He's got that mystique to him now. And the fact that Cody was stabbed in the neck and then strangled by Michael Myers, if Cody does survive, and this is the interesting part, if Cody did survive that, he wouldn't be able to speak. So then he could truly become the shape he could walk around in future movies and not speak whether they wanted to or not he wouldn't be speaking so it'd be in essence just exactly the same as michael myers someone who stalks people who now has an excuse not to be able to speak to anyone so he would be the next silent killer in the Halloween franchise. You also have the ability to continue the franchise with Cody without having to go back and rehashing anything like they've done in Halloween Resurrection where Michael strangled a guy and that's the reason he couldn't speak. We already know that Cody's been stabbed in the throat and he's been strangled by Michael. So in essence, his throat, um, his windpipe or whatever it was, would have been damaged in that scene. So if he survives, get into future movies, they don't have to rehash anything or go back and retcon anything. We already know why Corey doesn't speak or we already know why he can't speak, but maybe not reveal that it's Corey in the next film. So you could do like a whodunit movie where there's a copycat out there, someone wearing a Michael Myers costume. Who is it? Is it somebody else pretending to be Corey? Somebody pretending to be Michael Myers? Only to reveal, reveal at the end that it's Corey Cunningham. If you want to kill him in that film, fair enough. But if you want to reveal that it's Corey and let him live, then that's an interesting point in moving forward with Halloween. If you want to do it as a series, like there's rumours being, then that's maybe a good idea if you want to continue on in this timeline with Corey Cunningham. If you want to do something completely different, that's fair enough. If you want to do a movie with Corey, then again, that's also fair enough. There's just so many ways you can go with Corey Cunningham as a character because he's already built up. So it would make sense that he survived. We don't see a body bag. We don't get a confirmation that Corey's dead. Yes, it goes to the next day and it's all daytime and nobody talks about Corey getting away, but they don't have to do that. They don't have to explain everything and films, the fact that they didn't explain it at the end of Halloween Ends leaves it open for interpretation that Corey could still be out there. I know it's a little far-fetched guys, but that's what this video is all about. But leave your comments down below. Don't tell me that he's not alive. Let's pretend that he's still alive. What's your idea for bringing Corey forward in future movies in this specific timeline? Leave your opinions down below guys. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you soon.
बाय